Alright, today we've got acrylic works to demonstrate the cleaning of the curtains in a boat. This is a, uh, um, what was it again? 2004, 2004 Albemarle. 2004 Albemarle, okay. And we've already did a section of it over here just as a test. And you can see, I don't know if in the video it's going to show up real well, but we did this little corner here and it looked like this before. So we're going to do another section in here just to show you how this works. It works and the application process is just like we do in any other application. Small dab of product on a damp rag. Don't need a lot to start with. And you're going to fold that up, and then you're going to apply it in a north-south, east-west direction. I'm going to do this whole window for now because we already did part of it. So let's clear the whole thing and see if we can get it restored so it's crystal clear. And this does take some elbow grease because you are getting off years, possibly, of oxidation. So it's not a quickie product. It's not a spray-on, spray-off product. You're actually restoring the surface. And you notice I'm going again north-south, east-west, putting a lot of pressure on here. And we're also doing this in direct sunlight. That's going to help with the removal of this, of this oxidation. And this first step here is, of course, only the inside of the uh, curtains. We do have to go to the outside and do it there. So this is not going to be, even after we get done with this process, it's not going to be completely clear. And we'll probably pause the camera for a moment and I'll go on the outside and do the rest of it. But you can see here, we pull off some dirt, but a lot of this is the oxidation. So what you want to do is get a clean area of your grag, Put another dab of the polish, and you're not using a lot each time. You can see I'm just using just a mini, minuscule amount there. If it's really bad, you can actually put a layer of the product on and leave it for a few minutes. Let it work into the pro into the curtain or the surface that you're trying to clean up, and break down that oxidation. But you can see I'm pulling it off, and I can see it becoming clear. But I can also tell that we're going to have to go outside. And this boat takes a little while to get around there, so it's going to have to stop for a moment. But you want to do this until your cloth basically comes up clean. So I'm going to do it one more time. I think that's going to be enough to consider this inside clean. And you really do want to put some pressure. Sometimes it helps if you have another person on the outside, depending on how solidly installed your curtains are with something like a uh, you know a poly cutting board or something so that you can really apply the pressure because it is it is a mechanical process the first time because you're removing this oxidation. And I think he's gonna be able to see out of this thing for striper fishing at night in the future <laughs> because he was considering did you say you were considering replacing these? I was. Yeah. Well guess what? You just saved yourself a couple hundred dollars I guess. I don't know how much it would cost to replace these bad boys, but I know it's not cheap when I'm in my boat, so I think we're about done here, so as in every other application, the next step, which is really a really simple step, is another washcloth with just plain water, and you're putting a water sheen on it. That's going to remove some of the excess material that may be on there, but it's also going to set the acrylic. The last step is buffing it. And while there's a great improvement, I can tell that we're going to have to go outside. And we're gonna, we are gonna have to pause the video because I don't need, you don't need to see me crawling around the outside of a boat. But uh, we will then get the other side of this and hopefully have a nice clear curtain. All right, so now we're outside the, the uh, boat. We're gonna do the outside of the curtains. Um, again, same process, small amount of polish, and uh, north, south, east, west directions just to clean up what's on the outside. Uh, the inside came off pretty nicely, but you could tell there was some definitely some discoloration that's on the outside of this particular set of curtains. So again, north-south, east-west. It will not get off everything. There, there are certain curtains that have been damaged beyond repair. So we're not going to sit here and promise you that every single one is going to come out like this, but this one looked in pretty bad shape. As the owner was telling me that he was going to replace these. And I think when we get done with this 15 minutes of polishing, that he is going to not do that. And again, you have to really work this in to get that to get that oxidation out, and that's that's the tough part. In the future, a simple, quick application will restore these things back. Now, a lot of this was dirt. I don't know if you can see all that, but we're going to flip it over, go to a clean side, and do one more application out here. And I think we'll be uh, <laughs> we'll think we'll be uh, good to go.
Now that last application really got into it. So sometimes, again, you could apply it like this and just leave a thin sheet on there if it's really, really bad. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Let that polish work into the surface and really break down that oxidation and then come behind it with this manual work. And you can see all this yellow. I don't know if it's going to show up on the video or not. That's all this yellow is the oxidation that's being pulled off. So we'll, uh, we've got enough polish on that. I'm going to flip it around one more time just to make sure we got everything off that we can. And then we'll continue with the, uh, the second part of this process, which is the application of a water sheen, which removes any excess material and also sets the acrylic. So this is your water sheen, very simple step. Just rub it with some water. And when that's done, you're then buffing it out. And we should be back to really clear, ready to go, striper fishing in the winter. So now you can see where the heck you're going. And that is acrylic works on a curtain on 20 foot album. Model.